to the Final Four. We join you from Knoxville, a showdown in the SEC. The number four team, Kentucky, taking on number seven, Tennessee. A lot of anticipation building for this one. We check out the standings of the SEC. It is tight at the top with Tennessee and Kentucky at 13-2. and two. LSU in action as we speak. We welcome you courtside. Hi, everybody. I and Eagle, Grant Hill, Bill Raftery, Tracy Wilson. They might blow the roof off of Rocky Top before this one is through. There's a chance both of these teams could be a number one seed when the smoke clears on Selection Sunday. Kentucky, one of the hottest teams in the country right now, Raph. You know, Bert, it's defense, yeah. and it's not shot blocking. He's been in the right spot. They better be protecting that low post area. Tennessee, very good dominating there. And for the Volunteers, Grant, revenge on their mind. They were throttled in the first meeting between these two teams two weeks ago. Yeah, I and Tennessee was really out tough. They have to bring a physicality yeah. to this game, and they have to establish Grant Williams inside. He has to have more than just four field goal attempts. All right, let's check out our AT&T fast analysis for this one, Grant. Well, for Tennessee, they have to share the basketball. A lot of one-on-one -on -one play in that first matchup. That didn't work. Of course, they make the extra pass. Good things will happen. Tennessee, that's volunteer basketball sharing and carrying out there on the court. Uh, John Calipari, has got his guys buying in. They're really solid meeting at the summit there. The runouts caused by excellent defense. Communication skills have been extraordinary of late. Let's check out the starting lineups for Kentucky. Nick Richards gets the nod in place of the injured. Reed Travis still out with that knee injury. Tennessee, last time these two teams met, they were number one in the country. But that loss to Kentucky snapped a 19-game winning streak, which was a program record. John Calipari looking for his 300th win as the head coach at Kentucky. A victory to